Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Kellen with Droid Life. And uh, tonight we're going to look at Chameleon. This is the uh, third party launcher that was created, basically launched through Kickstarter. It's funded once, some issues came up with payments, refunded, second project created, and uh, it's basically out in beta now. So if you were one of the early adopters, pre-orders, and then if you are just been picked to be a part of the beta test, you can actually get a hold of it now and start playing with it on a Nexus 7. So let me just go ahead and unlock. And you can see I've already got the launcher up and loaded. Um, <clears throat> for those that don't like the fact that stock next 7 doesn't auto rotate on the home screen, showing you right now that uh, Chameleon does. Um, so basically it's a home replacement for tablets and it might come to smartphones eventually. For now it's just tablets. Basically they give you these, uh, it's basically widgets on top of home screens and you can set them up depending on location or time of day or whatever you whatever you want that home screen to be set up as. So just to show you quickly um, the setup I have on my first home screen, I have my Twitter feed over here set up with my mentions. Um, up top here I've got my weather and you can see it pulled in my location, did Portland. And then down here I've got an Instagram feed going. So it's got a bunch of pictures from Instagram, things like that. Um, if we go down to the bottom, these are essentially just, you know, your favorite apps that you can load up um, as shortcuts. So, you know, I can tap on these and load up the uh, Google Play Store and go back home. You've seen that before. We don't need to see it again. But you can see I've got Chrome down there, Google Voice, you know, all the favorite apps that I use most often. Uh, if you want to get into your app drawer, it's this little button over here. You can actually tap it um, or you can actually swipe it up. You can see there's a nice little animation right there. If you want to bring it back, you can swipe it back down. Uh, if you hit home, for some reason that doesn't actually bring you back down there. You actually have to hit this button over here to bring it back. So, sort of odd. Uh, but you can grab other apps and drop them in here. Um, it does not look like we can actually make folders down here. And I believe I'm at my max. I think it's just kicking apps off. Oh no, you can just keep scrolling. So I just have had this only for about 10 minutes. So you can add as many apps as you want down there and you can see right there scrolling through them. So that's kind of cool. Um, over here is this other button which is essentially like a home screen preview button. So if we go ahead and tap that, it gives you previews of your home screens that you have. You can see my first one set up as home, that's just by default. We scroll over here, I set one up that's a gaming one just to create a different situation. You can then create one that was work, you can see I have it blank. Um, and from here you can go in and just tap on one and it'll take you into that home screen that you have set up. So you can see for my gaming one I put Dead Trigger and Shadow Gun and the Tiger Zone shortcut on there if I want more games. Um, I also have my weather and then I have a news feed up here for video game news. Okay, so you can actually flip between these two if you'd like. And you can see with each flip, I have a different wallpaper for each screen and then also it's, well, that's actually a bug. <laughs> so if I go over here, it's supposed to change these apps back to whichever home screen, but I don't know if you saw that. I got that to flip up and yeah, so that's a bug I'll have to report to them. I'm sure they'll fix that. Um, but it's supposed to switch your apps depending on which home screen you are. So um, you can also flip over and you can see this blank one. So this is where we get into sort of the uniqueness of Chameleon and it says press and hold to add widgets. So I'm going to go ahead and press and hold. And up here it says change your wallpaper or add a widget. Well, let's just do the simple thing first. That's wallpaper and they have a bunch of stock wallpapers in here. And as far as I can tell, you can't actually add your own, but you can see I just choose that wallpaper. So far, I'm not really seeing, yeah, again, how you can add your own. And you can just hit the checkbox up there, and then you're done. But we do want to add some widgets. So let's go up here in widgets, since they're the star of the show. So far, these are your five choices, Gmail, News, Weather, Twitter, and Instagram. All right, so if we go ahead and just touch on Twitter it adds a Twitter and it says add your feed and um, you can actually resize this either down, Let's see if we can get that down, there we go, down or to the side, you can make it as big or small as you'd like. So let's make it that size and it says add your feed. So up here there's a little settings button and I believe the Droid Life account is added. So it says home timeline, I'm just going to hit done. You can actually do search for a feed too, but if I have my home timeline you can see um, it started populating that right away. So then once you're done, you would just hit the checkbox up here, and now I have this fully scrollable Twitter widget in there. Um, let's say I wanna add some more, so I long press again, go up to widgets, and let's just grab weather. So weather, I'm actually gonna shrink, if I can, up to one, and I'm gonna drag it down here. Actually, that Twitter, let's go ahead and make that just that big, and let's see if we can change this 
weather as well. Okay, so there I've got that. Let's add one more widget. Let's go ahead and do news. So news, I want to make big, big. And we go in here and it lets you, let you search for like keywords. Like I could type in basket ball and hide the keyboard. And if we go ahead and hit find, it should find me basketball related blogs or topics. So it says select your news source, nba.com there. I can actually tap on that and it'll give me other, other news sources that are basketball related. I'm just gonna go with nba.com and hit done. And then that should load up nba.com stories. And sure enough, T-Wolves, Knicks signed GR Smith's younger brother, which is really odd. Um, anyway, so you can see now I'm in here. Um, if I go ahead and hit the checkbox to be done, there's my new home screen. So this is a scrollable news widget. I got weather, I got a scrollable Twitter feed up here. And I haven't actually tapped on weather to see if it does anything yet. It doesn't look like it does, but it is giving me the forecast for the week. So 97 on Saturday in Portland. That's hot for us people. So there we have it. So I've got three home screens now. I've got one for just my home stuff. I've got one that I set up as a gaming thing and another one just some other sports and Twitter stuff. Now if I wanna add apps down here, I can do that. I can just start grabbing apps and dropping them in here. Okay, so the last little thing that I wanna show you is if you're in this preview mode and you go into edit context, you can edit context, and this is where you set up rules, and I haven't fully figured out exactly how these work, but there are rules for, like, based on time and location, um, and, like, if you're on a specific Wi-Fi network, I would assume that just means this home screen will refresh or start working. So, anyway, if you go in here and hit plus, you can see we got time, Wi-Fi network, and location. So, if I hit time, you can set up a time where... I, again, I would assume you want this home screen to be activated or refresh. So you can tell it to do it on weekends, weekdays, which day of the week and what time. If you hit add or apply, it adds that rule in there. Um, you can also do this for a Wi-Fi network, so I could choose my home Wi-Fi network. You could also do this for location. So again, I'll have to play with those just to figure out what exactly they do for sure and how they affect your home screen and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, this is basically Chameleon. So this isn't a beta and they're having people test it now. So we're submitting bugs. Um, right now, you can see that the star of the show is essentially um, the widgets, right? But as you can also tell, there are only five widgets to choose from. So hopefully they build it in so that other widgets that are already available on, the, on Android can work with this, or they have a whole bunch of other ones, you know, sort of in action waiting for you. Otherwise it could be fairly limited. And also with the wallpaper thing, we need to see, you know, custom wallpapers in here rather than just the ones they've loaded up. So again, this is beta, it's on Kickstarter, they're working on it, they're having us test it, submit bugs so they can make it better. Um, so far though, performance wise, let me get back here. Performance wise, you can see it's pretty fast if you thumb through here. You know, there's not a lot of lag. They fixed some of the performance issues. It does work in portrait as well. So you can thumb through them this way. So, you know, overall it's got some cool things going on. We definitely want to see where they're going to take it. But so far, this is a preview of Chameleon for Android. We're Droid Life.